Many years ago, I decided to start doing these videos about fan-made Sailor Moon merchandise and items, including homemade crafts and special little gems that you can't find anywhere else. I call this series Artist Alley because it was inspired by going to conventions where I would see these entire rows in aisles and kiosks of all sorts of fan-made creations. And every single time I was so inspired and it felt so creatively motivating to be there. So in support of small businesses, today is my newest episode of Artist Alley. You can also see all of these artists featured over on my Instagram, which is Sailor Snubs. Also, if you are a small business and you wanna be featured on one of my videos, just get in contact me using any of the links down below and we can get you set up with being on a future Artist Alley. So this first product I wanted to show you is by a company called Imagination and I will link them down below in case you're interested in grabbing one of these yourself. This is a beautiful mirrored glass rotating base that you can use for any of your figures or models. The cool thing about this is that it is a laser etched mirrored stand that goes on top of a regular rotating base which can go either way but it's also Bluetooth connected. So the app you wanna download is called Lotus Lantern. It's this little icon up at the top. And when you first connect it, you will need to put three AAA batteries in here and then look for it under my devices once you turn on Bluetooth. Once it's connected, you have control over all of the different colors that this can glow. So I currently have mine set at this green color as you can see here, but I can easily change it to any of these presets or I can change it to a specific custom color there. For example, I wanna make it purple, so there we have purple. This also shipped with an actual figure. It comes with this Bluetooth speaker. So this Bluetooth speaker can be attached via a little sticker to the top of the display base like so, and she can chill on top of your base. So this is fully USB-C. Of course, I don't have it balanced while it's in my hand, so you might hear it like swaying around. But when I turn it on, she rotates. That's so cool. I love it. I don't have a rotating base, so this is awesome. I love it, and I feel like I'm going to use this quite a bit in my collection to show off some of my different character figures that I've purchased from Japan. I love it. This is really neat and I love that it lights up so it's gonna look really cool in the dark too. The base also has a few different controls so I can go super slow, I can stop it, or I can make it rotate at this regular speed. So there's a few different options there. You can also go right or left. Awesome. So if you wanna get your own rotating display with this laser etched mirrored stand on top of it, I will put Imagination's links down below in the show notes in the description. They have a few different options too. You don't have to get one that says Sailor Moon on it. You can get other options as well. Thank you Imagination for sending that over. It's so cool and I feel like I'm gonna use this quite a bit. Okay, next we have uh, what started as a Kickstarter but became so popular that they ended up selling them on their website as well. Uh, Pearls and Arts created these beautiful stands in collaboration with another Sailor Moon collector, and these are specifically made for your compacts, for your proplicas. So as you know, proplicas do come with like little displays so that you can open them and have them kind of tilted forward, but they're not that great if you want to show them off and kind of have them vertically shown to people who like come in your collector room. I have a hair on me. Or is it a, is there a spider web? Oh God. I hope there's not a spider web. I need to dust. So I've been using these like crappy little things off Amazon to display my compacts. Pearls and Arts came up with these beautiful 3D printed displays that have some beautiful detailing on the front of them as well. So they came up with three different designs for these. I have six in front of me because I ordered duplicates of each of the designs, specifically because I know I have more than three compacts that I wanted to display this way. But what this gives you is a beautiful stand for each of your different compacts. So this is one of the stands that they had available and they made a few different ones to kind of differentiate between the compacts, but I'm just using the first season compact for this example. So here we have one that has the two kitties on it, a beautiful stand and it really holds your compacts in place, which I appreciate a lot. And here's the last one and we have a beautiful bow right there. So I think they did such a quality job with these. I actually don't think they're 3D printed. I think they might be, well, they look like they're 3D printed, but with acrylic bases. It's kind of hard to tell. They do look really, really beautiful though. 
and I think they put a lot of work into making them very defined. For example, this one has so much detail going into the um, moon palace right there. Like you can see a little Luna in the doorway at the very bottom. It's kind of hard to see unless I put it in the sunlight. Right, there she is. You can see her right there. So I think they did a great job with these and I'm happy to support them in their endeavors. And these are gonna make my collection room look even better. This item is not Sailor Moon, but it, it was incredibly hard for me to obtain. So it's kind of a grail. This was created by Tubi Ceramics, which she got crazy, crazy popular on Instagram because of her gorgeous ceramic art. So this piece of pottery is painted and all the art is designed by her. She also does all the glazing and the firing as well. The only reason I know those terms is because I have a friend here in Denver that runs a pottery painting studio called Glaze and Phase. You should check it out. But this is the kind of work that like I aspire to when it comes to being able to create my own pieces of pottery. This is absolutely beautiful. It does have a hole at the bottom because this is for plants. So it's a really beautiful planter. I think I spent around like 250 or 300 because this is a piece of art. It's a one of a kind. And I honestly think it was worth the money. It's just so, so beautiful. And she did such a beautiful job with it. I love the detail work here with all the little stars. It looks like sunset. I love Princess Mononoke and I recently watched that movie with my husband and it's one of my favorite Ghibli movies. So just being able to own a piece of Tubi's work makes me super, super happy. And I can't wait to use this in my household. I saw this Instagram account advertised to me like for years before I finally bit the bullet and decided to purchase one. Uh, this is a Sailor Moon corset which was custom made. So I had to wait several months for it to arrive. It was delayed by about two months. Uh, so I was totally bothering the creator to get it shipped out, but it finally shipped and it looks beautiful. The quality of this is gorgeous. I don't see any fraying or any issues with the actual boning of the structure of this corset. And I cannot wait to wear it. I can't wait to show you what it looks like on. Uh, this was made to my measurements, so hopefully it fits. I'm a little nervous because it's always hard to buy things online whenever I give my, my measurements, but it does have this additional ribbon on the back so I can customize like how tight it is on my body. And if I ever go to the Renaissance Fair and I wanna have like an anime nerd day, I'm ready. <laughs> I am totally ready for that nerd day at the Renaissance Fair. Or I could wear this to like a convention or something. I don't remember the pricing on this, but but Adasan Studios is the maker. They're out of Malaysia and they do everything custom. However, I think they have some in-hand ones for like if you're a Spirited Away fan or like a Howl's Moving Castle fan. I do think they have some Ghibli work in hand that you can check out as well. Uh, but this one was the one that I wanted, obviously, for my favorite, favorite Sailor Guardians. So I'll show you a close up so you can see like this has boning structure built into it. On the front of this, we have this beautiful clear art of Sailor Moon and the inner guardians. Then on the back, we have the guardians as well, but this has some of them in their school uniforms. And then we also have the guardians in their regular senshi uniforms. Super, super cute. And I love that the inner part of this is this hot pink color. It's very pretty. Oh, wow, this mouse pad is huge. Okay, so this I'm going to call a dust pad because it is way bigger than a mouse pad. I got two matching mouse pads, one in a darker and one in a lighter color. These feature all of the Sailor Guardians in their eternal forms, as well as the three kitties looking so adorable with their wings up at the top. This desk pad is gorgeous. I'm so glad I got it. This is your traditional desk pad. No LEDs, nothing special like that, but I really wanted to pick this up because I'm always looking for giant desk pads for my computer desk and my editing studio. Look how big this thing is. I know it's upside down, but look how big it is. This is a huge desk pad, like well worth the money that I spent on these and definitely gonna get some use out of them. So I'm super excited to set this up in my studio. It's so pretty. So these mouse pads are by a maker who goes by the name UUJW on Instagram. I will put a link down below so you can find them. They do a bunch of pins and they do some really creative stuff, not just for Sailor Moon, but for other anime as well, in case you are interested in checking out 
some of their work. They ship worldwide, but this maker is located, I believe, in Asia. I want to say China. So keep that in mind when shipping because shipping will be a little bit more expensive because of that and because of the weight of those dust pads. I have a slew of smaller items that I have slowly been collecting over the last several months. And these consist of like stickers, little pieces of art, magnets, etc, etc. If you saw my pin collection videos, you probably saw the ones that were made by Adorkabos and Amunit Graphics or GFX. So here we have a bunch of matching silver stickers that go along with those pins in the same art. These are really beautiful and they feature all of the talisman and all of the Sailor Guardian's planetary symbols. And I really like the design of these. I think the art is so unique and it's so floral and so delicate. So I really like these. These came with a purchase that I got from Elsie Pins and I was so obsessed with these. I think they're so adorable. This is a little sticker sheet from Elsie Pins that includes all the moody babes, which is one of their lines of pins. These stickers were a little surprise from Crescent Lion Arts who creates some beautiful artwork and gorgeous pins. I love all of his pins. So I try to collect every single one that I can get my hands on, but these are a couple of stickers that are based on the same art as one of the pins that I have. I also have a series of magnets that were created by Lovestruck Designs. So here we have a couple of Sailor Moon in her kimono. Then we have one of Human Luna in her kimono. And we have this gorgeous one of Sailor Neptune. These are also in pin form too, if you wanna collect some pins. My friend Sailor Samara sent me this beautiful sticker. I love this art so much. And I love the little doggy in the background. She's such a sweetheart and I always love being able to support her online. So definitely check out her Instagram if you wanna see some more Sailor Moon content. This was actually from another friend of mine, Buddy Pins. Buddy created this gorgeous pin of Sailor Moon and I know a lot of people haven't gotten their hands on this pin and you definitely should. It's one of my favorites. It's a really, really beautiful piece of art and he used some really gorgeous effects in a very intricate way. So I was very impressed and I love this matching sticker. I wanna put this on my laptop. These are some stickers from My Pin Fairy who also makes pins. All of these are holographic except for the last one. So you can kind of see some sparkles there. And if you wanna buy these in pin format, you totally can. All of them are available as pins as well. Uh, some of them might be sold out at this point. Their pins are pretty popular and they sell out pretty quickly. So I always try to be there for a drop. Look at these, they're so cute. I love them so much. Such cute stickers. Dace Quok has also created something similar where they do pins, but you can also get stickers of some of these designs. So here are a couple of beautiful designs that they sent as stickers, as well as this one. I just got this pin in the mail and it is absolutely gorgeous. Now, if only I can chase down one of the VIP versions of this pin, then I'll be super, super excited. So last year, Sailor Kraken pins created another Halloween pin and they also had this adorable bundle where you can get a keychain of one of the pieces of art, as well as a sticker set of all the different pins in sticker form. So here are all the Halloween pins in sticker format that they have created so far. And I love the art. Very, very cute. I have been supporting Naughty Art pins on Patreon for quite some time. And if you get the monthly pin through the Patreon club, then you also get a piece of art as well as a little miniature sticker. So these are some of the pieces of art that I have collected through the last several months. And each of these designs is based off of a character from Sailor Moon and the stickers are the same. You get some kind of character from Sailor Moon, except for that first one that I showed you. So here we have Pluto, Black Lady and Luna. And I also have the pins of each of these, some beautiful Princess Serenity art and Usagi. I need to get like flatten these because they've been sitting in a bag. So they're a little wrinkled. Sailor Neptune, of course. Then over here, we have another one of Princess Serenity. It's really beautiful. So a couple of stickers and this beautiful, beautiful art print of Galaxia. Same thing with Hugo did that. So Hugo did that on Instagram. Hugo creates all these really, really beautiful designs and they also started a Patreon. So I have the pins from the Patreon pin club, but they also come with a cute postcard and art print. This is on on like really nice cardstock and a little sticker as well. So here's the sticker from the October Patreon pin club, the postcard, and there's the back of the postcard. Really, really cute work. 
and this gorgeous piece of Sailor Moon. This is one of my favorite art pieces of Sailor Moon during October. I really love this design, it's so cute. Got a sticker of Hugo's art. Here's a recent pin club collection. We have a postcard of Sailor Moon, this sticker sheet, and an art print. Adorable, such nice work. Little piece of art that came with some pins that I ordered online. And this is the newest Patreon pin club that I got from Hugo. So this included a beautiful sticker from Beauty and the Beast, as well as this gorgeous pin. You know, honestly online, like I thought she looked kind of yellow, but in person her skin tone looks a lot better. So I know on camera, like it comes off kind of like yellow undertones, but her skin tone looks a little bit different in person. So I'm really happy with this pen. I think it looks beautiful in person. Here's the postcard for the December art in the Patreon pin club. And then we have this gorgeous art print. It's so beautiful and romantic. I love it. Okay, I had to show you this because I was super, super excited about it. This was sent over to me by Sailor Yuna Collection Pins. Now Sailor Yuna based this off of the really gorgeous figure and music box that came out many, many years ago that is uh, impossible to get your hands on nowadays. But I love the sky or is that the earth behind the moon palace here? I mean, the moon palace is on the moon, so that must be earth behind it, right? I love that soft, soft glitter. The figure itself is in the same pose as this pin, which makes it really cute to display them together. And on the back, it says Sally Yuna Collections. One of 50 so I got number one that's so cool thank you so much for sending this over I love it so you can find them over on Instagram but of course I will link them down below as well okay this was also sent to me so I could show it to you on camera so my day job is in tech I have a tech YouTube channel and I also work really hard on uh, doing security and privacy stuff and one of the hobbies in the security and privacy community is creating badges these cute little electronic badges that you can collect at conventions for cybersecurity. A lot of times people will personalize these electronic badges to be something that they love. Uh, I have my own idea for an electronic badge, which I haven't shared online, but this was such a cute idea. So this was created by Ninjishian with help from Altbeer and you can find it over at sailormoon.altbeer.us. I'll put those links down below as well. Let me see if I can get this to light up. I'm not sure which way I need to put the battery in. Oh, it's working. Look at that. That is so cool. Oh, I love it. This is bringing two parts of my life together, my Sailor Moon obsessions, and of course, my cybersecurity and technological day job that I've had for 15 years. That is really cool. Oh, I love it so much. Thank you so much for sending this over to me. I adore this. This is gonna go in my tech studio, not up here in my collection room, but I'm gonna put this on display in my tech studio so people can see it every time they watch my tech YouTube videos. Oh, this is amazing. I love it so much. This was a little surprise sent over by Crescent Lion Arts as well. And I love this cute little drawstring bag. I feel like this is going to be so useful for holding some of the items in my collection room. Okay, since the holidays were recently passed, I did get some very cute little ornaments. These were a couple of ornaments that I got in, I wanna say these came from Sailor Kraken pins. They were free gifts with a couple of purchases and now I want the full set. I think they're really pretty and so cute. I love wood ornaments and these would look great on my future Sailor Moon uh, Christmas tree that I'm planning to build <laughs> and for the future holidays. I also picked up a series of really beautiful ornaments that came from so each of these were created by an artist named marta fontanelles i think that's how you say it these are also wooden ornaments and each of them features a design of one of the inner sailor guardians I would love to see Marta do the Outer Guardians as well. That would be super fun for next year for the holidays. But here we have Sailor Moon, we have Rey, Sailor Mars, we have Makoto, Hinako, and of course we have Amy. I think she did a quality job on these and all of them look really beautiful. Yay, Christmas ornaments. 
Also to add to my bath bomb collection, because I have a bunch of these so far. So these bath bombs were created by Bath and Nerdy. They do a whole bunch of different nerdy bath bombs and they are beautiful and they smell so good. Part of me doesn't want to use them. So if they have them in stock, I try to get two. <laughs> so I don't have to use one of them. I can just like display it next to my bath. It looks so beautiful. They also generally have a couple of different scents that you can choose from for their bath bombs. So this top one is Moonflower and Agave merged with soft floral and marine notes, cocooned in a powdery blend of dark musk and amber. Ooh, that smells good. It smells kind of, it certainly smells kind of musky. That'll be a good one for like relaxing in the bath. The other one is a scrumptious aroma of freshly whipped vanilla cream blended with juicy Bartlett pear picked at the peak of ripeness. The vanilla is definitely strong in this one. And the pear, yeah, I can smell both of those. Mm, that smells so good. Gosh, I don't want to use them because they're so pretty, but also I do. <laughs> the other one I grabbed from Bath & Nerdy is the Sailor V Compact. This one says it's a unique blend of florals and fruits inspired by the night blooming moonflower and iridescent blossom that only releases its fragrance at night. Mm, that smells good too. Yeah, this one smells kind of similar to the first Eternal Moon article. Moving on, I have several pieces that were created by Laser Cat Design. So here I have this beautiful ornament that was laser etched. It has Sailor Moon as Princess Serenity with her silver crystal. That's a gorgeous ornament. I'll put it with my other ones. I also have this really cool holographic sticker which can go in a window and kind of shine the sunlight through. That's going to be so pretty on my window in my collection room. And this little trio of stickers which matches that. So the reason why I got that little bundle is because I got this beautiful stained glass creation of Princess Serenity that I can put up in a window. And you can see it in the sunlight. You can kind of see it in my studio lights as well, how there's this holographic coloring to her skirt and her dress. But you can also see through the acrylic so that it works like stained glass. Now you can tell this is handmade, like you can see some places where it was glued, but for something that is so very intricate, I'm sure this took a long, long time to create and it looks absolutely beautiful. I think Laser Cat Design did such, such a good job with this piece and I'm very happy that I'm able to own one and put it up in my, in my studio. So I'm actually not done with Laser Cat Design. I actually picked up another pair of items from them as well. If you went to the Sailor Moon Museum, you probably saw a pair of kitties all over the place. So Laser Cat Designs came out with a couple of acrylic glow-in-the-dark Luna kitties that were based off the ones from the Sailor Moon Museum. They included some command strips so you can hang these on the wall if you wanted to, as well as this really cute little necklace that I can put on the other one right there. But this is the first one and it features Luna standing up. Now I believe that this is a sticker on the back so I could place this pretty much wherever I wanted to. And luckily uh, I own my house so I can put this on the wall without worrying too much about the wall getting damaged. I love that the moon on here is supposed to be glow in the dark so I'm really excited to see what that looks like. The other one I have here is another version of Luna. Unfortunately yes this whisker uh, came broken so I'm just gonna have to hot glue that or super glue it back into place so that it doesn't get damaged any further. So I'm just gonna leave it there for now but this one is very similar. Again we have another one from the Sailor Moon Museum design. This one has the little ribbon that you can place on her neck which I think is so precious. And it came with this adorable little keychain of Luna as well. Little matching keychain, so cute. I think I just have a few more creators items to share with you. Now you're probably familiar already with Beluga Designs. Uh, Beluga has a whole bunch of really cute items for sale on their website. And they also had this mouse pad slash desk mat. I have already shown this over on my Instagram, but it's a really, really big, it's like a plasticky desk mat. So if you're worried about like spills or anything like that, then you can easily wipe this down and clean it, which I appreciate. And it's two-sided. I would recommend unfolding this or unwrapping it and putting it underneath something heavy so that you can get it to lay flat because it does curl up. But I love that it's two-sided and we have like Luna and Artemis versions that you can use. Beluga also did this really cute case that I have on my Nintendo Switch, which 
Again, I already showed that on Instagram, so I can show you the footage here as well. But that case is wonderful for transporting. The only thing that I think it misses on is that you can't access the little kickstand in the back and it's also a little thick so it's hard to fit it inside of your dock if you do intend to dock it whenever you get home from a trip. This gorgeous purse, I got tons of compliments on this thing when I posted it on Instagram but this is by Gerd Clothing, G-E-R-D Clothing and that name was inspired by Geeks and Nerds, so Geek and Nerd Clothing. It's such a cute play on the two words that a lot of us kind of grew up being known as geeks and nerds. <laughs> but this is a really beautiful like bucket style purse. It does have a pair of very soft ears on the top, a little handle if you wanna carry it by the handle. When you open it, there is a zipper compartment if you wanna hide anything in there, but there's plenty of room to fit all of your necessities in here. I love the detail work that they included in here, like the little crescent moon on the zipper. There's also this really shiny crescent moon on the front. And the entire thing is very, very fluffy and soft. You also have these removable straps, which also appreciate that. So I can replace them with something that I wanted or I could just leave them there. And there's four of these little, what are they called? These little bullet things so that when you stand it on a table, it's going to stand upright and you won't get the bottom of your purse dirty. I think Gerd Clothing did a wonderful job with this Luna bucket style purse. And I think for like the winter time, especially, this is such a cute piece and would get tons of compliments. I think I have three more artists in here to share with you. So these two really huge bags were both created by a creator that I found on Instagram. I'll, again, I will link them down below, but they have a whole website of merchandise that you can purchase that has like Sailor Moon manga art on it. So I picked up this canvas bag uh, during their closing down sale, which apparently just turned into a sale because they reopened. So that was a little weird and I was like, oh, okay. But great way to get some sales for sure. They have this laptop bag, which I love. I love this cute art of Sailor Moon and I'm always looking for some laptop sleeves because I can use a laptop sleeve, I swear. I do appreciate that it has this soft interior lining and it's kind of padded on both sides as well. So this is a really cute laptop bag. This reusable tote bag is not only a really nice high quality item, but it also features Chibi Chibi and this art that I've never seen on any licensed merchandise. So. They put it on a piece of merch and I was like, okay, I'll get that, thank you. So with that tote bag, I also got this matching shirt, which again features Neo Queen Serenity, Princess Small Lady Serenity, and we have an adorable little chibi chibi down at the bottom. I wasn't sure if I would like this style shirt or not because I have ordered shirts from them in the past and they were printed on Gildan and I'm not a big fan of the stiffness of cotton style Gildan shirts. So I wasn't sure if I would like this one or not, but it was a sublimation type tee. So I figured it would probably be a little thinner and a little bit better like fluid cotton material. I believe that this is actually not cotton. Yeah, it's polyester, definitely a soft material and it has these really cute sleeves on it. So that'll be fun to wear. I'm interested to see if it fits me. I know this art is controversial, but this art is actually licensed. This is legitimate art that Naoko Takeuchi has made. So here is this uh, really fun tote bag <laughs> that uh, I kind of love. Uh, for some reason, the back of it is printed backwards, but the front of it is printed the front way. I didn't notice that until I just unboxed it. So the back is mirrored, <laughs> but the front is the correct style. So this features Sailor Moon with um, a handy little Glock in hand. So that's fun. I also wanted to pick up these adorable tea towels. I, I love tea towels. I think they're so cute and they make for like wonderful little display pieces. So this one features Usagi with Sailor Chibi Moon. This again is licensed art that they used on this tea towel. Then we have one of my favorite pieces of art from the 1990s. One of the first pieces I found of Cosmos, which made me go, who is that? I need to know more. I'm obsessed now. And then I hyper-focused and I, it, the hyper-focusing on Sailor Moon never went away. So here's Sailor Cosmos and Chibi Chibi on this adorable tea towel. So cute. And the last one features Usagi and of course Chibi Moon. This is such a cute piece and I think it would go great for like Valentine's Day or in the springtime. It's very springtimey. Okay, I have two more artists 
And that is it for this episode of Artist Alley. Now, again, if you want to be featured in a future Artist Alley video, or if you want to be featured on my Instagram or both, then you can always get in touch with me down below via all the links provided. I do ask that you get in touch with me prior to sending something over to my UPS store, because I usually try to keep track of packages that are coming in so that I know where they're coming from. But also, if you're a viewer of this channel, or if you are subscribed on my Instagram page, or if you follow me on Instagram, then I always love receiving packages from people who have followed my work online too. So if you want to send like stickers or a little note that tells me about like what you like about Sailor Moon, I always love stuff like that. And I always keep fan mail as weird as that word is, but it always brings me joy to see that I'm kind of making a mark online and people enjoy what I'm doing out here. So just to thank you to anybody who does send me out any kind of fan mail, it's always really appreciated. And I love seeing what y'all are up to and I love your pictures pictures and your art and the stickers, like anything that you want to send my way. It always brings me joy. <laughs> okay, so one of the last items I have is a plushie. This plushie came from Asia. She was specialty made. And one of the pin makers that I follow on Instagram put together this group for a pre-order for her. And I'm glad I got in on this group because she is so cute. Uh, does have a little flaw but I think it's an easily fixed flaw. So as you can see here on the top down, instead of having like sewn in little gold circles on her dress, uh, these were actually just stickers that were stuck on her dress. So what I'm gonna do is I think I'm just gonna take a little piece of yellow thread and like sew on little spots on each side of these little stickers so that they don't end up falling off. Cause I don't wanna lose those, she's just too cute. So here we have this really, really cute Princess Serenity inspired doll. She is a little plushy, but she is very, very thick. So she's not like a super squishy plushy or anything. She did come with this dress, but I think it would be so fun to get like a second Sailor Moon dress too, so I could dress her up in her different dresses. But I think the dress is very well made other than the little stickers kind of falling off. <laughs> she, however, is beautifully made. I love her face. I think she's just adorable and I love that it's embroidered. Very, very soft hair and there is wire in her hair so you can kind of twist it if you want to, twist the little pigtails. And she does have embroidery for the little jewelry that goes in her hair as well. So such a cute little plushie. Um, she is not available as far as I know for order ever again. It was just through this pre-order group. Uh, but if she ever does pop up again, I'll definitely link to her on my Instagram. So if anybody wants her, I would say follow me over there because that's where I would announce any kind of reorders for anything like this. And last but definitely not least, I have this huge box that I'm gonna unbox on camera with y'all of all these really adorable and super fun items that came from another artist that I found on Instagram. She actually found me and wanted to send over these items. So I'm very excited. I haven't seen what's in here yet and we're gonna unbox it together. <laughs> wow, this is stacked to the brim, whoa. So exciting. So everything in this box was created by Mooney Fan Collections. So Mooney Fan Collections has a whole slew of different items available on their Instagram. So I'll link them so you can follow them as well. But here we have this beautiful sticker of Sailor Jupiter and we have a matching pin. Oh my gosh. Ooh, is that a sticker too? Whoa, that's pretty too. I love that glitter. So another gorgeous sticker. And then we have this really fun pin. This is a dual layer pin so it's a pop of Sailor Jupiter. That is so pretty. I love this. That is a really nicely done pin. I think this is a matching pin. Ooh, look at that sticker. So glittery. Very cute. Love these. Here we have a matching one to the Sailor Jupiter pin. So this one features Princess Serenity. I love the little glitter bubbles in the background. Those are really cute. And the roses are very nicely done. This is a really beautiful pin too. What else is in here? Oh my goodness, there's so many goodies. I feel like it's Christmas. Oh, that's beautiful. Really pretty sticker of Princess Serenity. Different art on this one. So cute. Some cute stickers of all the other characters too. And it looks like we have a whole series of different artists included in this sticker bundle. Wow, these are really pretty. These are nicely done too. I really appreciate like glitter or foil stickers. Oh, I think that's made by Pilla Art Design. Cool. Beautiful art of Usagi and Seiya. Then we have Black Lady. So cute. 
Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. What a gorgeous shiny sticker. So pretty. Beautiful stickers. What is this? Oh, wow. Okay, I've seen these stickers before, but this is like a thick bubble sticker almost, but it's got a sticky back to it. So you can put this like on your laptop or on your phone. This is really cool. Whoa, that's fancy. Ooh, these look like keychains. Ooh, they are. And I love that they're holographic. I appreciate that they're in each of their own packaging so they don't scratch up against each other. Here's this beautiful acrylic keychain of Black Lady and it is an acrylic. Ooh, I love that shiny color. Another beautiful design of Black Lady, again, holographic. I like the rose gold, that's really pretty. Here we have one of Sailor Venus. Again, very, very cute. Love that art. What's this? Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's really cool. Here we have one of Sailor Moon and this keychain also has a cute little lanyard so you can put this around your wrist. That's so useful. I'm putting this on my keychain immediately. That's gonna be useful for like when I go to the UPS store and pick up packages. It's always nice to have something where I don't have to bring my purse. I can just put something on my wrist. That's very useful. Oh my goodness, there's so many goodies in here. Ooh, that glitter is beautiful. Okay, here we have a pin of Black Lady and this one has a bunch of glitter in her dress. Really lovely, very, very pretty. This would make a great pin on my Black Lady board, which I haven't showed y'all the finished concept yet, but it's really cool, I can't wait to show you. Here we have another one of those Luna stickers. Very adorable. Ooh, glitter, I love the glitter. Look at the glitter in her skirt. It's so precious. So here we have Sailor Luna. Oh, she's so cute. So cute, I love these. What is this? Whoa, that's a big old package. Okay, what do we have here? I'm gonna take a look. These look very nice. Ooh, these are sticker notebooks. I'm gonna be very, very intrigued. Did you send me sticker notebooks? That's so cool. Sticker notebooks are the kind that you can put stickers on and then you can rearrange them as you want because the paper on here is not actual paper. It's like a like a wax covered paper almost. So it's really easy to replace and move and organize your stickers inside of them. So yeah, if these are sticker books, that's super useful. And this does feel like that kind of paper. So ah, I'm gonna have to use these immediately. That one's cute. Then we have this one of Galaxia. Oh, this is a regular notebook. Okay, so this one has regular paper on the inside. So cute. I love that you feature Galaxia on a notebook. That's so nice. And then we have this smaller one that features some beautiful artwork of Neptune and Uranus. Oh, and this one feels like a sticker notebook too. It feels like it has the same kind of paper in here. That's cool. Thank you so much. Those are amazing. And last but not least, how many are in here? Cool. Okay, we have not one, not two, but we have three mouse pads in here. And these are mouse pads. I'm gonna use one of these downstairs. Oh my gosh, these are the perfect size mouse pads for my shipping room office desk setup. Cause I always need a mouse pad in there and I, I, I don't have one that's small enough. These are perfect size. These are cute. I love them. Oh, look at Black Lady. Little chibi black lady. She's so cute. I love her so much. This one is awesome. I love this color and I really like this art style. She just looks so cool. Such a badass. And uh, Sailor Mars, girl. Sailor Mars is one of my favorite characters and I just love this art of Rey. So cute, so adorable. And she's got those really cute overalls that we see her in, in the classic anime. So this is really cute. I love this. It's very unique, so perfect for a Sailor Mars fan. Oh, I love them. These would make great gifts too. I think everything in here is like the kind of thing that you could give a Sailor Moon fan who already has everything. Like what, what do you get them? You get them merch that's made by other fans, of course. So these are cool. I love these so much. I think everything in here is so adorable, so unique and Mooney Fan Collections, you did such a great job on everything in this unboxing. This was truly so much fun to unbox. So thank you for sending those over. And I know you had to wait like a decade for me to actually post this unboxing. So 
Sorry about that. <laughs> well, I hope that you enjoyed this episode of Artist Alley. Of course, you can find all of these creators down below in the description. And I also tag them and I make videos and photos and reels and stuff like that and post those over on my Instagram, which is Sailor Snubs. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy these kind of videos and definitely give a follow to these creators that I pointed out in this episode because they all do really unique and very creative creations. I love supporting small businesses and I'm always happy to use my platform here to share what they are creating because every small business, I think, deserves some praise. We all work really, really hard, myself on editing and producing these videos and y'all on creating this physical merchandise. So thank you so much to the creators who sent over items and for the ones that I purchased from, I'm of course always looking forward to supporting you in the future. And until next time, I hope everybody has a wonderful day. Jane.